Hello there, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to implement linear regression from scratch using gradient descent. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the coding. So guys, in this video, I'm going to just implement the code. And in the next video, we will create a very basic project. So let's uh, first implement our hypothesis. So what is our hypothesis? Uh, let's take hypothesis. Hypothesis is nothing but the formula that we will use to get our y hat. That is going to be uh, theta zero, or let me stop it. It is going to be theta zero plus theta one into x. So this is our hypothesis, and this function is going to take the value of x, and it is also going to take what do we say? Uh, it is also going to take theta. Okay, and then y hat is going to be theta theta for 0 plus theta 1 times x and it is going to return y hat so here i have created a vector of theta so that i can access uh, both of them using the same name with different subscripts so this is our hypothesis. The next thing that we need to find is the error. So let's take f error and this error for what was the fun, uh, what was the formula for the error is it was one upon m sigma and it was y hat minus y whole square. Okay, so basically we will need y only y. So if we will take y and we also need theta uh, so you will see why we will need theta okay so first of all we need m so that is going to be y is equal to uh, m is equal to y dot y dot shape zero and why it would be this because m is the number of points and y is a vector y is a vector that has all the y points so the total number of points is going to be m in y so that is why I'm taking the shape zero. Okay, and oh, I rubbed it. Uh, so it was y hat minus y whole square and one by m. This was the error. Now we have m. And what we can do is we, all, we also need to find y hat. So for that, we will need hypothesis. And in this hypothesis, we are going to pass our y and theta. That's why we needed theta. And I made a mistake. Uh, uh, we also need x. So let's take x because here we do not need to. Uh, uh, what do we say? We do not need to. Up, uh, so here we do not need to pass y, but we need to pass x okay so we have this and you can also do x dot shape okay so the next thing that we have to do is we need to apply this formula so for that what we can do is let's take uh, error equal to and it is going to be np dot sum and in this i'm going to use y hat minus y the square of this so this formula is uh, this function is automatically going to sum all of these values. Now we will just return error, return error divided by m because we also need to apply this uh, m. Okay, so we have this error now. Now next thing, let's apply a gradient descent. So and uh, def gradient underscore descent, and in this we will just take x we will take y we will take learning underscore rate or for now we will take it at 0 0.1 and let's also take epochs epoch equal to let's take 200 so what are epochs this uh, uh, is the function that we understood uh, yesterday or uh, day, before, day before yesterday so uh, epochs are basically uh, well, you will apply your gradient descent and your error will decrease down here then you will apply again uh, your 
gradient descent then it will decrease down here then you will apply again then it will decrease down here so the number of times you are applying your gradient descent again and again is the number of epochs okay now uh, now that is out of the way so what we need first of all uh, let's take m equal to np um, x dot shape 0 okay now <coughs> How many uh, we are going to take theta let's take theta equal to np dot zeros and we are going to get two values from that okay so we have this and we also have to get the gradient but we for that we do not need to do anything here so we have a uh, gradient we also take error list and error list is going to be empty list now for i in range epochs so uh, we need the error uh, let's take error equal to uh, it could be error and x y and theta so we are finding the error on the basis of the theta that we have right now okay and we are going to append that errors on the error list so error list dot append error now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to find the gradient so that is going to be gradient and in this function uh, we are we have to make this function so let's just pass some values so x y and theta now let's first make this gradient function okay so def gradient x y and theta okay now what we have to do is uh, let's take m equal to x dot shape zero uh, x dot shape zero okay now we need to find the gradient so uh, for the gradient we had the formula to divide by m and uh, it was y hat minus y for theta 0 and again it was 2 divided by m it was y hat minus y multiplied by x i and it has summation so this is for theta 0 and this is for theta 1 so we have to implement these functions now we have theta equal to uh, we have taken the theta it is generating and um, basically it has two theta here so we have passed that theta here now we are going to find the gradient so gradient uh, can be gradient again we need two gradients to update two thetas basically to so that is going to be np dot uh, zeros two comma and what we can do is gradient zero is going to be hmm, you can ignore the two it doesn't matter because we can uh, we can uh, what do we say modify or adjust that two into the learning rate so you can ignore that two so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just perform np dot sum and in this i again need to y hat equal to hypothesis this x comma theta so we have y hat so y hat minus y this is our gradient zero and so for gradient one uh, we need to use np dot dot function and here we will use the transform uh, transpose of the x and we will multiply it by this i will explain you everything just bear with me for a second or for a minute i will explain you each and every word that i am writing now we have this gradient so what we can do is we can return our gradient divided by m because we need to divide it by m to normalize it okay so the question here is that uh, why are we just passing gradient not these two different values uh, that's because it is only a single uh, array and that has two values so we can i can just pass it right uh, like this now we need to update our theta so instead of doing theta 0 equal to 
uh, instead of doing this theta equal to zero equal to theta zero multiplied by learning rate what i'm going to do i'm going to just use theta theta into learning uh, theta minus learning learning rate into gradient so now as theta had two values as theta have two values and gradient also have two values so it is automatically going to update the correct values of theta theta 0 and theta 1 you do not have to worry about it that's uh, uh, is the benefit of using uh, let's uh, what do you say numpy because then you can perform these kind of operation without any worries okay so we have this theta and we have updated our theta then it is going to run and at last what we need to do is we need to return our error list and we need to uh, return theta okay so now let me just explain you the whole code i hope that you got some ideas till now first of all we uh, disc, uh, defined a function hypothesis uh, so that we can get our predicted values using the theta parameter okay now the second function was error and in this we use the formula same formula that we studied in the last part that was y hat uh, let me just rub it all and i will explain you so the formula for the uh, uh, error is we have 1 upon m sigma y hat minus phi square okay so we have um, we have found our m using this uh, using this line then we have found our y hat using this line now we are using np dot sum function so what it is going to do it is going to uh, apply this first it is going to find y hat minus y square then it is going to add this is i then again it is going to add like y uh, hat mine uh, let's take this is one one now it is going to take two y two square then it is going to add this y hat three minus uh, y three square and so on like this so this is how this sum function is going to find our error and then we will divide this error by m and we will re return it so this is our error function now i hope that it is clear now now the next function is gradient and gradient is used to update our uh, theta so that is very important now what we are going to do is gradient now again the formula for the gradient 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 is zero the formula was uh, 2 upon m sigma y hat minus phi this was our formula and if you do not understood any of these then please go and check out my previous videos because i have explained each and every topic in detail so please go and check that out so now what i am going to do is uh, we are, we are going to apply this formula for gradient 0 and for grade 1 what uh, was the formula was 2 by m theta y hat minus y into me this was i this was i and into my xi so this was the formula for the gradient one okay so we we have to first find y hat y hat so we have found that y hat is here we have created a gradient array that will have two gradients so that uh, it will have gradient zero and gradient one okay and we will we have now our m also so now we will use our gradient uh, zero first so what we are doing we can ignore our two because this two can be compensated by the learning rate so you do not have to apply this two it is not a big deal okay so and this m will we, we will apply later on so now our formula left to this this part okay so this is very easy like uh, we did here we just don't have to square it now so np dot sum y hat minus y and it is going to perform same like this just we are not doing the square this time okay so that was the easy part now we have y hat minus y so let's suppose i will tell you what it is uh, doing and let's uh, take let's take y hat 
this was y hat this is y and we are doing uh, what do we say yeah so we had these values like this so one let's take this is two let's take this is three let's take this is three let's take five let's take four okay so when we will minus these values together with the help of uh, because these are uh, these are going to be numpy uh, arrays so they can easily minus uh, by uh, you can easily minus them and it is going to be generated uh, like this so this is will be minus one this is going to be zero and this is going to be one so this will be the output of this now you have to multiply because we were using first of all i values so th that was i but now we are doing matrix multiplication so what we are going to do uh, if you know that matrix um, in matrix multiplication the rule is that uh, the number of columns should be equal to the number of rows okay so we have three these values of three and we have to multiply it by xi okay so we have minus one we have zero we have one and we have to multiply it by x now so what we can do uh, our x is of the shape like this let's take uh, we have three we have two we have five so you cannot multiply both of them because of the matrix multiplication you cannot multiply them so we are going to take a transpose of this and it is going to be convert into three two five so now what it is going to do is it is going to multiply this by this okay then it is going to multiply this by this okay and then it is going to multiply this by this and it then it is going to sum all of them so it will generate a single number now i hope that it is clear so we did x uh, as the formula says here yi minus yi into xi so yi that is 1 y hat i that is 1 minus yi that is uh, 2 so when we do this we got minus 1 okay and then we multiplied it by xi that xi was 3 so 3 multiply uh, 3 is multiplied with minus 1 okay so 3 is multiplied with minus 1 and then we use the summation and again we perform the same thing but here we instead of using four loops we are using matrix multiplication power of numpy and um, using these kind of things we are able to uh, you know uh, we are able to perform all the operations very easily so in this part what we are uh, what i have done is let's take uh, this example we ha i have created theta i have created an error list so that i can store all the error and i can see like how much error has decreased okay now in every epoch i am finding the error i am appending that error into the error list so that i can uh, return it and then i am uh, finding the gradient that i need to find and that gradient is used uh, is used to update the theta use uh, with this formula so i have talked about all of these formulas before so i am not going to explain it to them so you can just see what i i have done here right now and uh, as i said earlier that gradient has two values and so does theta so theta has theta zero and theta has theta one so these value these both two um, these values can be upgraded by gradient zero and gradient gradient one so guys this was the implementation of linear regression and i hope that you understood the concept first of all you should know how matrix multiplication works for this to understand so please go and check out like how matrix multiplication works and it is then it will be very easy to understand so i hope that you got the idea and in the next video we will implement a uh, implement a project very basic project using linear regression so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time